Good evening folks and Bob from 4am and welcome back for another modifier tutorial. So today we're going to look at the Vertex Weight Mix modifier. Vertex Weight Mix. Okay, so um, again as, as you've seen with the, um, the Vertex Weight edit, I'll go through it and then if there's anything that um, you know I can actually do on it. Um, you know, I surprised myself yesterday on the on the edit video. Um, and actually, I, I I was able to use it and do a little bit with it. Um, now once again, just to warn you, there is a video of this on Blender's website, but it's not actually the correct video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, just jump into edit mode, and I'm just going to. Um, where's he gone? There we go. Subdivide a couple of times and randomize it. And then up to you through here. Oh. There we go, just to make it a little, uh, little bit of a mad shape for us to work with. Yeah, that's cool. It's got uh, quite a lot of geometry on that one. Okay, so vertex weight modifier. This modifier mixes a second vertex group or a simple value into the affected vertex group using different operations. So you create one vertex group, group A, and then it'll mix group B in with group A, set by these weights here. So the modifier does not implicit clamping of weight values in the standard 0.0 to 1.0 range. All values below 0.0, .0 will be set to 0, 0.0 and all values above 1.0 will be set to 1.0. So that's the weight of each vertice. The more you stretch it, the higher the weight becomes. If it is below 0, 0.0, it'll be set automatically to 0, 0.0 and if it's above 1.0, it'll be set as 1.0 simple as high value low value it only mixes from zero from zero to one there's not much to play around with there okay so vertex group a the vertex group to affect default weight a the default weight to assign to all vertices not in the given vertex group vertex group b the second vertex group to mix into the affected one Leave it empty if you only want to mix a simple value. Default weight B, the default weight to assign to all vertices not in the given second vertex group. So this affects this, this affects this. A and A, B and B, simple. Mix mode. So we have replace weights. So, and it doesn't say it there, but this is replace replace weight, add weight, subtract weight, multiply weight, divide weight, difference weight, average weight. So replace weights replaces affected weights with the second group weights. So whatever we choose on this mix mode is to do with the group A and it gets replaced by anything in group B. Add to weights adds the value of group B to group A subtract the va um, subtract the w from weights is subtracts the values of group B from group A multiply multiplies the values of group B with group A divides divides the values of group A by group B difference subtracts the smaller of the two values from the larger average adds the, the values together then divides it by two mix set all vertices, again it, it doesn't say vertices there but the V is a vertice. So all vertices affects all vertices disregarding the vertex group contents. V group A affects only vertices belonging to the affected vertex group. Is This is your affected one, it is group A, group B is your mixed. V group B affects only vertices belonging to the second vertex group. 
V group A or B affects only vertices belonging to at least one of the vertex groups. Group A and B affects only vertices belonging to both vertex group. Again, these are going to be, I would say these are very advanced things. Um, it's not something I've came across myself whilst I've been looking through any tutorials or any videos at all. Um, but again, we may use it at some point. So when using all vertices, that's that one, vertices from group B or vertices from one group, vertices might be added to the affected vertex group. Global influence. The overall influence of the modifier 0.0 will leave the vertex group weight untouched. 1.0 is standard influence. Influence only affects weights. Adding and removing of vertices to or from vertex group is not prevented by setting this value to 0.0. .0. So if you set this to 0.0, .0 it won't affect removing or adding any vertices that are still run from these up here. Then we have vertex group mask. An additional vertex group, the weight of which will be multiplied with the global influence value for each vertex. If a vertex is not in the masking vertex group, its weight will not be affected. Then we have our good old uh, texture mask. An additional texture, the values of which will be multiplied with the global influence value for each vertex. This is a standard a texture data block control. When set, it reveals other settings. Okay, so let's set. So that's just adding a little texture. It's not going to do anything to it because we haven't got any texture loaded there or anything. So we then have texture coordinates, local, global, object, UV. Uh, texture coordinates is how the texture is mapped to the mesh. Local uses local vertex coordinates. Global uses vertex coordinates in global space. Object uses a vertex coordinates in another object's space. And UV U, uh, user UV layers coordinates. If we do, do UV, we then get UV map. And that would be the UV layer to be used for UV mapping. And if we just select onto object, there we go, we then get an object to choose, and that's the object to be used as a reference for object mapping. So different things is going to give you different stuff, but global and local just works off the normal axes um, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so then we have use channel. And this is pretty much the same as, um, well, it's exactly the same really as the um, the other weight groups um, on all of the modifiers. So the weight edit, it's exactly the same, works exactly the same. Which cha um, use channel is which channel to use as weight factor source? We have red, green, blue, alpha, RGB, A. One of the color channels values. Intensity, the average of the RGB channels. So if RGB is 1.0, 0, 0.0, 0, 0.0, one being red, the value is 0 0.33 because it's the average. There's three of them and the one gets divided between all three is 0 0.33. Then we have value. The highest value of the RGB channels. So if RGB is 1.0, 0, 0.0, 0, 0, 0.0, the value is 1.0 because that's the highest. Hue. Use the hue value from the standard colour wheel example. Blue has a higher hue value than yellow. Saturation. Use the saturation value. Example, pure red value is 1.0, grey is 0.0. Okay, so um, once again, I mean, this, this script shows me a little bit um, about, um, about the wave vertex um, mix, but the video that is actually on the website doesn't actually work. Okay, so um, 
Let me just see if we get rid of this. Add it back on. I'm gonna try this out now. Um, it may not work, but it may. So um, delete vertices or invert see modes. So um, okay. So we're gonna add a plane. And it's going to be sized 100. So, right, that's pretty um, massive really. I don't know why they said to do it that size, but okay. Um, add, um, let's have a little look. Add a vertex group. So, if that's. Okay, right, so we're not, we're not going to mess around with that. What we're going to do is, I'm going to go back in, I'm going to add, nope, not that. I'm going to add in my cube. I'm going to do the same as I did last time. Select all, subdivide it a few times, and then randomize it. Take it out, it's a little bit more a better shape like that, to be honest. Not that this can be called a, a great shape in any way, shape or form. So if we add a vertex weight mix and we go into weight paint. Blue is there's no weight at all applied onto it. So I'm just gonna and I'm actually using my brand new mouse that I bought today and it's actually a six, bu uh, six button mouse and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, the, the deal I got on it was amazing. It's from China um, and it's not something normally that I would buy um, from China because normally something does go wrong with it. But um, this actually works pretty, pretty good. Okay, so let's just select a few vertices and then if we um is it control and j is it? No, let me just figure out the button. What I'll do actually is it's a good little tip this for if you ever forget a shortcut for something we can go over to here and use a button from here. But rather than do that, press spacebar and do type in what you're looking for and then assign to a new group. Simple as. And then we'll have our new group. Okay, so we're going to view it in weight paint mode. Now, compared to how I already had it, that looks like that's actually affected something there. Because I actually had quite a lot of stuff going on. So if I do group there, double O1 there. Hopefully we can actually make something happen here. I would really like something to happen. But I'm not sure <laughs> if it's actually going to work or not. Hmm. No, I don't think much is going to work on there at all for this. Um, again, you know, this is this is just going out on on a whim, basically. Um, I wonder if 
If we go into edit mode and I unwrap this, that's then going to give us unwrap. Okay, so let's do this. There we go. So we've got all these triangles here, we now have a UV map and there's our UV map to use inside there. So, I like to just take this back to normal and just put it back into the timer. I'm never going to use it really until we actually do that but um, it just makes it look a little bit normal to me. Mm, no. Which is quite a shame, really, because um, I actually wanted something. I was desperate for something to happen. But it doesn't seem like it wants to. Let's get rid of that. No. So basically, I mean, what that's going to do is, uh, although it's not actually doing anything right now, um, what it would do is any of these values here, so these blue ones are completely normal. Um, how about actually, if we just change that a little bit, maybe that's that. Maybe now we can see something happen. No. Okay, so basically up here. 0.01, okay, so that's going to be completely blue, because there's no weight there. So anything that is completely blue will get pulled into vertex group A. Because vertex group A is the default weight to assign all vertices um, not in the given vertex group. So anything below the 0 0.1, I believe, will be added into vertex group A and anything above 0 0.4 which is anything that is pretty much anything higher than green so red or anything like that um, this could be a good way actually to maybe figure out the hue values I don't know if it would be but you know it might work couldn't tell you um, that will be added into group zero zero one. It's just a shame I can't actually get anything to work. <laughs> um but yeah, um that's the vertex weight um mix. Next one will be the vertex weight proximity and then we will move on to a generator which I cannot wait to do. So as always if you'd like to leave a comment, um like, subscribe, um and once again, as I always say, you know, if you could tell me how to use this a little bit better um, and, you know, show me how to use it, because it's very hard to find any videos with these modifiers or about these modifiers online. So if you could tell me how, how to exactly use this or give me any tips or any hints, then by all means, redo the video and I'll be able to show you a little bit better. So that's it for now. Thank you very much, folks.